welcome back to the channel and today's home tour is a pretty beach house slash farmhouse because i kind of did it in like that farmhouse style but you can obviously see i did build it on the beach house um lot that we recently got i think we got it either last year or the year before that but anyway super pretty i really like i went with my um usual white weatherboard exterior with the black roof because that's just like my favorite combo and you can see i just kind of fenced in the entire property and i really like also like the little gates but here i'm going to show you more of like the actual lot you can see it's literally right across the street from the beach really nice and for those of you who don't know um your sims are allowed or they are they're able to get on like actually swim in the ocean so i think that's pretty cool i really like this lot and yeah so this is just a little bit more of the exterior um, I did put some pretty palm trees right in the front and then I really like how I said how it's like um, fenced in and then I just put some little planters outside with those little white rose bushes. I think they're really pretty. There's the big car. They have the trash bins right out in the front. And then like I said, I like the little fences. I have two. One right next to the car and then one right in front of the house so you can choose whichever way you're coming in from just to walk in through those gates and I think it's also like a little bit more secure because I would imagine that the gates have like a keypad or something but yeah you can just see right there I put some little um hanging plants also next to the windows and yeah so let's just walk right inside um you just walk into this cute little entryway it's just a small room with a nice farmhouse mirror and then I just put a little side table with a plant and a nice little light and then they also have a picture of the ocean because you know have to bring in a little bit of like the beach theme inside and then you just walk over through here and it's just like a little sitting room i wasn't sure what to do with this room at first but i just decided to make it like a little sitting room kind of just like a nice welcome room when like guests walk in you can just sit here if you don't want to go all the way inside to the house but i just put a little uh, fireplace just some nice tables and then those nice love seats on each side and then there is like a nice wallpaper feature wall where the fireplace is at so yeah and then you just keep walking and you just the room opens up to the big great room which is just the living room and the kitchen so for the kitchen i decided to use the newer kitchen cabinets that we just got the industrial looking ones but i really like the wood grain on the upper cabinet so i felt that kind of went really well with the theme of this house so you can see i just laid them all on that wall right there there's a lot of different appliances on the countertops just to make it look lived in since i did move in one of my sim families here there's the fridge the sink is right there overlooking a pretty window and then the stove is just right in the center of this little island that i made and yeah so that's the kitchen and then here is the living room you can see the little poodles just walking by but for the living room i decided to just use the simple white sofas um they're just like really simple they're the scandinavian ones and then there's just a pretty coffee table in the middle. They have a TV, a nice a big rug in the center, and then just a little um, chair as well. And yeah, that's basically it for the little great room here. It's just the kitchen and the living room. And you can see I put the stairs here, my new favorite ones. They go really well with the theme. And they also, they kind of like um, decided the theme for this house because it's all like white, black, and then of course the nice pine wood color. But you can see there's a door right behind like the stairs and that door leads you to the guest restroom and it's a full four-piece restroom so i thought that was really cool i was able to fit in like a full tub and a shower as well so you can see there's a tub right here with a little rug underneath it and then i also have those cute little shelves that have like some soaps and extra so and extra towels and then there is the um sink right there there's a poly plant on this corner and then the opposite corner is the toilet and then yeah, I really love the windows as well. Um, if you guys don't know, those windows are from the um, Grand Price House of the Maximalist event. So that's where I got those. And then over here is the dining room. So I made it kind of like a like a DIY um, bay window. <laughs> so it's just like kind of like protruding out of like the rest of the um, great room. But you can see I used all of like the outdoor little chairs. And then I did use a garage door to kind of make it seem like seamless and it just like opens up and yeah i think it looks really pretty and i thought that was like a really cool idea to use those items to make them bring them like inside of the house 
and now we're gonna take a look at the backyard which is probably my favorite part i really love the backyard it's super like beachy and just very relaxing to look at and then you can see i use for the back for the backyard door, I just used this one. It's a nice sliding one. And then you see there's more potted plants hanging on the wall there. And then here is the mom of the family. And then there's her little toddler son. He's just playing with the little blocks. I'm just pretending that they're kind of like, um, like he's building a sandcastle. So it kind of looks like it, but you know, just pretend. And then there's just a lot of seating areas right here to lounge and just relax by the pool. There's a big pool, obviously, and then just some nice palm trees. And then my favorite part is probably this little um, makeshift basketball court that I made with basically just like the basketball courts. And then I just used the patio paving to make it look like it's a full on court. I do wish the Sims could play with each other. I tried and I couldn't figure it out. So let me know down below if like you are able to do that. But right there is just a teenage son and um, the dad of the family. So they're just right there playing basketball. And yeah, I think the backyard looks really cool and I love how they have sand all over the place. So it looks like it's like very, you know, soft. It would probably be really hot, but um, there it is. Um, and then here is the door to the garage. So the garage does have lots of things in it. Um, I have the laundry section, of course. So I have all these laundry cabinets right here. And then just again, a little ladder, just like a bunch of clutter to make it look really lived in. They have some clothes there. Their washing machines are right here. And then right across is like where they keep their tools and then just some more gardening tools as well. And then that little table is not a glitch. You are able to put it underneath that, um, like the gardening rack tools there. And then they do have a little house for their puppy. And yeah, that's basically it for the garage. Just a simple little garage lived in and lots of you know, family stuff that you would find in a regular garage. So yeah, let me know down below if you guys like the whole basketball idea. I think it's really cool. And let me know if you plan to like use that idea in the future for your guys' builds. But yeah, this is just this is just a quick overview of like the first floor. And we're gonna take a look at the upstairs now. This house does have three bedrooms, so really nice. I think it's like pretty spacious normally. I don't know why my houses always come out pretty small, like bedroom wise. But anyways, um, you just pop up to this big long hallway and then it also opens up to the left right there. But we're going to take a look at the master bedroom first. Um, so this is the parents bedroom. I decided to use this big like four grid long um, hotel bed. It's just white and it has like lots of like clear green colors, kind of like pastel. But I think it looks really pretty and... I just put some little lamps on each side of it and then they do have a little sitting area right in front with another little potted plant and a table and then they do have the little bubble mirrors right in front and a corner tv so pretty small they i wasn't able to fit in a closet but we'll just pretend it's somewhere in there but then here is their ensuite um it's basically the same like it has the same furniture and like fixtures and everything as the other restroom here's their sink right here they have their toothbrushes off to the side and then also a nice little window right here so lots of natural light would come in and they also get a nice view of the backyard and then here's just the shower and the toilet is right across and yeah so that is the master bedroom and then we're just gonna head right across into the smaller hallway over here and take a look at the family restroom so right here there's two doors and the one on the right leads you to the family restroom so this one is exactly the same as the one downstairs i did have to kind of um, it changed a bit of it, but here is the tub section. Really pretty. I really like how it has the window right above it. I think it looks really nice. And then, of course, there's a tub because since the family has a toddler, that's the only, like, way they can shower and stuff. So there was the rug, the nice little shelf, and then over here is the shower and the toilet. And then I did have to move the sink, though, over here because it couldn't fit because of the door. But there they have another little rug underneath it and at the toothbrush holders for the toddler and at the teenage son. Then right across is the toddler's bedroom. And this one is probably my favorite bedroom. I think it's so cute. I was able to mix in a lot of different items that came from like different events. So you can see this little um, like dresser is from the newest um, Sim Chase that we just had. I think it's super cute. And I love the little picture frames and the train that's above it. It looks really pretty. And then right here, he just has a little bookshelf, his backpack for when he like travels and stuff. And of course that little painting with like the seashells. There's a table with the lamp and I gave him a bunk bed because 
why not? Maybe one day he can choose if he wants to sleep on the top bunk or the bottom bunk. But right here, there's a little rug with a little um, train. I think it's so cute. I love how it moves on its own and you don't have to like manually turn it on. But there's a little basket where I pretend that he has like his extra toys. And then right there is a little laundry basket so his mom can just pick it up and take the clothes to get washed um, easily. And then the last door on at the end of the hallway over here is the teenage son's room. So for his bedroom, I used the newer blue and light wood bed. I think it's super pretty. I love it a lot. And it goes really good with like a lot of the other items. Um, I gave him the little wicker nightstands right there on each side with the little lime, the the little silver lamps. And then he has a nice picture of the ocean right above. He has a potted plant on that corner. And then right across he has a full length mirror and then a little rack where he keeps where he keeps some of his clothes and then just some more like knickknacks of his and then he has a surfboard because I just figure since he lives by the beach I would assume he probably learns knows how to surf already but yeah and then he just has he does have his own balcony so I think that's pretty cool so that's kind of like a trade-off between the two bedrooms right here you either get your own ensuite or you get a balcony personally I would like my own ensuite just I think it'd be really nice to have my own bedroom my own restroom <laughs> but yeah that's basically it there's a quick overview for the first floor and the second floor i hope you guys enjoyed this home tour like i said let me know down below what is your favorite part about this house like i said mine is the basketball court i think it's really cool and it's something that i hadn't tried but i have seen it before um but yeah let me know down below if you guys enjoyed this home tour and as always thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you guys later Bye.